Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for joining me for my wig review for this gorgeous piece called Charlotte in Prosecco Road by Creative Wigs from their La Vida collection. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Before we start, I would like to say thank you to Creative Wigs for sending me this piece so I can review it for you all. So go and check their website out, see what tickles your fancy. I think Charlotte might be one of them. So let's start with the color Prosecco Root. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, brooded blonde. It's really nice. So what you have is a, I would say, a medium brown root. And I think the root is really well done. So there is no stark line. It's a nice, smooth transition into the main color. And what you have are like honey blondes darker blondes and lighter blondes nicely mixed so let's talk about charlotte so it's an almost all length bob so you don't really have many layers in there just a few at the bottom which gives it really nice movement so let's look at charlotte from all sides She is very pretty. She is pretty much straight out of the box. I only combed her through um, and changed the zigzag parting. That's all I did to her. And she is perfect, basically straight out of the box, which I love. I love wigs that you can just basically plonk on and go. Um, and Charlotte is definitely one of them. Let's look at the lace front. I think the lace front is a gorgeous. So it has an, a lace front and a mono part. So the lace front really well done. The lighter pieces come to the front. So it, there are hardly any knots visible. If any, really. But you have a bit of that band effect, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I know some of you really love it. So it's all personal preference, but it looks stunning. It looks really natural. The mono part, really easy to part, and it looks really natural as well. Let's look at the transition to the ear taps. I think that's really well done. It's not an extended lace front, and the transition looks really good. Coverage, really nicely on me. The ear taps finish here. It's a really nice fit on my 21.5 inch circumference. As I said, transition really nicely done and fit really good. Fit wise, straight out of the box, it fits my 21.5 inch circumference really, really well. There is a little bit of gapping and there is a little bit of room to tighten it and to widen it. So I do think it would fit a slightly smaller size and a slightly bigger size as well. But please always check that with the retailer if you're not sure. Let's look at the cap construction. We have a mono part and it extends all the way back to the crown, which adds to the realism of this wig, I think. And you have a lace front that is not extended. You have velvet covered ear taps with metal stays in them. You have a non-extended nape and Velcro adjusters. And here you can see how far I have to have them apart for my 21.5 inch circumference. So there is room to tighten it and to move them out a little. And then you have open wefts, sides and back. Per Matisse wise, can't feel any. Um, it's the density overall is low. If there is per Matisse, it's absolutely minimal. And it's a really lightweight cap. The fibers, I think as you can see, for a blonde, there's hardly any unnatural shine. So when I took it out of the box and felt the fibers and looked at them, I thought they're heat friendly fibers. Now on their website, it states they're synthetic. And that blew my mind because I'm a big fan of heat friendly fibers, mainly because they look in my eyes 
more realistic because they haven't got that unnatural shine. So there's not much you have to do to dull that shine down. And this just looks stunning. So a few styling options there for you. Let me take you outside now so you can see Prosecco Root in the natural light. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks again to Creative Weeks for sending me this piece so I can review it for you. So go and visit their website, have a look at Charlotte and all their other styles that they have available. If you have any questions, any comments, put them down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at Kairos Have a lovely day and I hope I see you soon. Bye.